There's so many questions that need to be answered. There's more natural disasters, there's more extreme droughts, there's more extreme weather events. There's an urgency within the climate community and, and climate scientists. The USA National Phenology Network is a science and monitoring initiative that's national scale. We exist to collect, store, and share data and information about phenology. Phenology is all about when things happen. It pertains to the timing of events that occur seasonally in plants and animals. I'm interested in how climate change is impacting our forests. With climate change, we're seeing warmer winters, we're seeing warmer springs, and we're getting this earlier bud burst in the spring. And so these leaves are coming out, and oftentimes they're at a time when these late spring freezing events can still be really damaging. So by watching changes in bud burst, we can observe how the climate is changing over time. So it's a great tracker or proxy for climate change. This is frost damage. This is pretty standard look of what yeah, freezing right. damage looks like. It smells like it was hit by a frost. And what probably happened, Ideally, I want to get data from tons of species. Every species is different, so the more information I can get on bud burst and leaf out across as many species as I possibly can would be ideal. I use the Nature's Notebook. Uh, we have a whole slew of volunteers called the Tree Spotters. Almost every day someone is going out, sometimes multiple observers a day. So that's really high quality data that I can access quite easily. The data that have been coming in through Nature's Notebook have slowly and steadily been growing in number. Those data can be used by researchers and non-professionals for exploring patterns in how things are occurring over the course of the year as well as changing from year to year. Phenology happens rapidly in many places at the same time. Can we predict phenology accurately three days in advance, five days in advance, two weeks in advance? So in my own lab, we've been focusing on is this idea of iterative ecological forecast. We have some new information that's coming in continuously. We want to update our understanding on a closer to real time basis. There was a question of, you know, we're starting to see the actual green out uh, and bud burst and early leaf. My graduate student who's making these phenology forecasts uh, wanted to, you know, validate what she's doing in the field. She could not move across all of these different locations in real time. Some of that large data is coming from formal observatories and observation networks, but also that the community science represents a, a real untapped gem for what we're doing. What we really need to do is use the army of, of observers that are part of the phenology network to help collect the data to not only build the models, but then also to validate those models. We are moving towards implementing phenol forecasts or phenological forecasting, which is a new and exciting area where we are really truly being able to deliver real-time and forecasted information directly to the hands of users who are using that to make natural resource management decisions. A projection or a prediction about where we think buffalo grass will be green and therefore you should go out and treat it. One of the things I think that's fantastic about this product we launched in June is it's already giving me real-time information where you know it, it matches what I'm seeing on the landscape but tells me when I can go out and control invasive species buffalo grass on the land I manage. We are sort of on the cutting edge of trying to apply new, new theory about how do we as scientists work with resource managers to better understand what their needs are and to more effectively and efficiently deliver the information that they need. Through these phenol forecasts, we've, we've started to deliver products that are seemingly valuable to decision makers and folks who are making decisions on the ground. And we're really excited to continue to grow in this direction and expand the suite of products that we can offer and really identify where is phenology information valuable and important and in what format can we deliver that that can really make a difference. <laughs>